Hello friends. Welcome to the series of tutorials on TestLink. So today we will be learning how to create a test plan in TestLink. So test plan is a very important uh, document in the STLC phase and uh, test planning defines all the activities what all to be tested what all should be in scope what all out of scope should not be uh, included and what are the resources what are the risks what are the mitigation plans so everything is included in the test plan so test planning is an important phase and uh, let's see how to create a test plan in testing okay so uh, let's log in into the application yeah so this is the home page and uh, now uh, we will uh, create a test plan go to test plan management this is the link see it is saying there are no test plans defined create one to allow test execution functionality so click on create button okay so you can give any uh, name as per the requirement test plan sample one i will give now this is the description now as i told you a uh, test plan is a very important document and it includes all the details of the tasks that will be performed to test uh, the application uh, in scope out of scope requirements resources the risks and the mitigation plan so all these things you can just give in the description out here in scope out scope risks mitigation resources okay so you can include lot of uh, details out here and next comes the two uh, check boxes active so active means this test plan is uh, still uh, being used in the project and uh, public means uh, it can be used by anyone uh, along with you so if it is unchecked that means uh, the person who has created the test plan can only use only that person can use the test plan so if you click on this so anyone public means anyone can use it and it is active so let's click on create and yes so this is the test plan that is created with all the details out here name description as of now it has zero test cases zero builds it is still active and it is a public and these are again the functionalities uh, this is like you want to delete the test plan you can delete it uh, you can export uh, links to test cases and platforms then this one is uh, importing links to test cases and platforms and this one is assigning the roles like whoever who are the people who can access this test plan so i hope uh, these all steps are clear to you all and uh, thank you for watching my video if you have any doubts you can put comments uh, and ask any doubt Thank you once again. We'll meet in the next tutorial. Thank you.